All right, it is time to pack up the car. The car with the gear. I got a little follower. I'm gonna leave, leave a little early, get some dinner. Hey, bullet, where are you going? All right, gotta pack this guy up now. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. Are you helping me? Okay, thank you. Yo, look at this motorhome that's from California. It's a long drive, baby. So it's really interesting how similar this, this summer feels like last summer in the sense of like uh, summers I, I guess summer's pretty pretty well started like it, it where you know where uh, what you know halfway through summer and in the sense of like we last summer there were just days where i'm like i just am struggling to find what to do to work like not that i don't have work to do there are things that i can do it's just i just have no desire and it's like and I was talking to my mom about it. And she she understands because she used to be uh, self-employed for 18 years or something like that. She ran my dad's books inside the inside his business, um, and she ran the office. And uh, now she she works at a, a social workplace. But it's like, man, it, it's funny like the how similar it is. And it's just I just want to get out, you know, like I want to do things outside of the house. And the heart, so that so that I try to set, set things to look forward to. And then like like yesterday, nobody's staying available. So it's like I like kind of like just spinning around. I think you know what it is. I think I just get lonely. And and it's one thing to be lonely in the winter because I feel like it doesn't happen as much because you know I'm, I'm at home a lot more. Obviously, it's a lot colder. I don't necessarily want to go out, you know. But in the summer, where it's like you know beautiful out, like I don't know. I don't want to sit in my basement all day, and I, I which is totally normal. But like there's nobody around to do anything, so it's like this weird, you know, stressor. <laughs> Would anybody like me to pick them up, Chipotle? Question mark. I'm on my way. LOL. Hey Siri, play "I Will Always Love You" by Jacob Restituto. I will always love you, single, by Jacob Restituto. Now playing. It's funny how it adds a single. We made it here. All right, let's get a little Chipotle. It took longer than I thought to get here, so I'm gonna have to grab a burrito to go. Man, I haven't had a Chipotle burrito in forever, man. Jamie and I usually get like the salads and then you just get the stuff instead of the burrito, but I had to eat it on the go. I haven't gotten one of these forever, man. They're huge. You know, there's a part of this, shoving down this burrito, sitting in traffic, rushing to get there on time, spilling burrito all over my pants. That reminds me of very much of the PCD, pre-COVID days. I'm trying to coin that term. Pre COVID, it works for pre COVID days, post COVID days, and present COVID days. <laughs> but man, if I've learned anything from COVID, it's like I don't miss this. I don't miss rushing to, to get somewhere, trying to be on time, which I will be. I'm, I have a couple minutes to get there, but like trying to shove down a burrito, spilling it on my, myself and my car. It's like, man, I don't want that anymore. So like I've, I've learned that from COVID, and thank God COVID has, you know, taught, I, I, I've got that out of, out of it. And it's like, I don't want that anymore. I really need to put things in place to really protect that slowed down lifestyle that so many of us had during COVID. And um, I don't want to go back. So let's, uh, let this be a reminder right here today that, hey, this is what it used to feel like and I don't want to go back. No, for real. I don't miss this, man. I got Chipotle all over my pants on this side too. I don't miss it. I'm not going back. Let this be a lesson, man. I'm not going back. Things slow, man. Keep it slow.